Hey guys, it's Beth. Today I'm starting with these gallon size paint stir sticks. I cut the first one down at the five inch mark and then use that one as my guide to mark the rest. And the lines don't always line up correctly, so that's why I'm marking them. And I cut 20 of these, so you'll need two packages. And I used pruning shears to cut them. After I had them all cut, I had sanded them down. And then I took this five by five inch frame. The glass slides right out. I removed the glass, put in a piece of cardboard, and then cut that down to size, added some hot glue, and then placed the cardboard down. I then laid that on its side, used another of the exact same frame, just with it completely open, removed the glass, added some wood glue on the side of both of those frames, just on one side of it, and then added a little bit of hot glue where I'm gonna be putting the stir stick. Just made sure it was flush on the bottom and the sides. And then continue that to fill it in. Each side takes five of the cut down stir sticks. After they were all glued on, I did two coats of plaster chalk paint. I did the entire outside and then just the top section on the inside where you might see some of it. Once the plaster chalk paint was dry, I took beige I'm sorry, Barcelona beige chalk paint and a toothbrush and just a tiny bit of paint on it and kind of just brushed on some of that paint to give it just a little bit of distressing and then took a baby wipe to blend it in. And then I took this black and red buffalo check ribbon, which I believe was from Walmart. I placed it in the corner between two stir sticks and then bubbled it up a little bit and then pushed the ribbon through the space in the other stir sticks and just did that until I had it completely filled in on one side. I didn't want to wrap it around completely. I kind of like the little bubble look of pushing them down in between each of the stir sticks. And then I cut off some of the excess, leaving just a little bit enough to tuck it in the corner between the two stir sticks on the other end. And then I just repeated that all the way around. I then took these two trees from Dollar Tree and I took the bottom of them and kind of held them together, wrapped some floral wire around it. I did also end up putting some floral tape around there to keep those together and then took some of the wire and wrapped it around the trunks that go in between the little branches just to make sure it stayed as one tree. I then just placed a few shopping bags and some little styrofoam in the box and then placed down the tree and just opened up the branches. And I just think this is so cute. I can't wait to decorate it. Thank you guys so much for watching.